Welcome to Filmed Film Festival 2020. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone online watching. My name is Amina Rimo. I am a filmmaker, a proud African woman from the Democratic Republic of Congo and a co-founder of Exile Key Film Production. So today, you are going to learn more about myself, about filmmakers in the festival from community around the world like mine, community full of passion and talent, and young people who are ready to lead us into the future we desire. And so, as we say in Kenya, Karibu, you are welcome. It's my honor to be the host of the 13th Filmed Film Festival and do it here from my home in Kakuma Refugee Camp. The first thing we are going to do is to hear from Jene Bugo, the president and CEO of Internews, who is going to tell us why we are here all online, about Filmed work, and about how you can get involved to support Filmed so that more young people like me can be ready to stand up and grab a camera to tell their own story in their own voices. It is my pleasure to introduce to you to Miss Jene Bugo. Welcome everyone and thank you Amina. I am so excited to be coming together from a lot of different places around the world, but coming together as a community to celebrate the, these inspirational young filmmakers these filmmakers who are telling their stories of their own communities, telling stories of COVID-19, of climate change, and of tragic conflict that can sometimes rip their communities apart. I am so proud that Filmaid is now a part of Internews, and I am even more proud to be able to connect you directly with the young filmmakers so you can hear their own stories about their own personal inspiration, and you can cheer them on as they win their prizes. This night is an exciting and important event. And I hope you understand as you are inspired by these filmmakers that your support is critical to their success. Please do consider hitting that donate button so you can continue this important film aid work around the world. I'm really proud that in our partnership between Film Aid and Internews, we've been able to expand this work from places beyond Kenya to places like Colombia and Zimbabwe. So really please enjoy these films tonight, share the inspiration of these young filmmakers and, and just enjoy. I'm gonna turn it now over to the amazing Amina Remo. She was the winner of the 2015 Film Made Film Festival's Best Director Award. She's tenacious and talented. Amina, please take it away. Thank you so much, Jeannie. You said it well. Filmmakers like myself want to do more than make it. We want our film to make an impact to the community and we want our story to change people's life and that is what Film Aid is helping us to do. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about myself. At the age of 14, I fled my home, the Democratic Republic of Congo. While living in Kakuma refugee camp as a refugee, I decided to build the future I desire. Because of the war, I lost everything. Through filmmaking, I have found my voice. I make my own film for, with, and about women, especially women who have experienced violence and displacement. Film helped me believe in myself and helped me to start a new life. And that is the true power of film. The power that makes us believe in ourselves and believe that a better future is possible. I know filmmakers you are going to meet today will renew your faith in the power of film and your faith in the future. So, without further delay, let's go and meet some of those filmmakers. I'm Paul Padiet. I'm a media student of class 2020. I participated in the films Aisha Misery. I was the scriptwriter. I did the post-production, I was the editor. It was a, a challenge work for me, but also I had to challenge myself to do great and also to make our team happy. My name is David Chol Malweth. I contributed in the film The Enemy Within as an editor. The few challenges that I encountered gave, and how I overcame them gave me hope that I'll make it in the industry. My name is William Etienne Lucrain. I participated in, in a film An Enemy Within as 
scriptwriter. At the same time, I acted as one of the elders. The purpose of this film is to synthesize our community about the effect of child marriage. I hope you enjoyed meeting a few students from the 2020 Media Entrepreneurship course. This is the classroom. It's where everything happens. Every year, 40 young men and women sit in this classroom and learn to tell their own story. This is where I've learned to tell my own story. Now, I'm going to show you a video about how young people like me learned to become a storyteller. My name is Lisala Selengalson. I started out as an actress in the year 2015. And um, later in the year 2017, I won awards and I got curious. I wanted to know what happens, what is the beauty, what happened. I was just in front of the camera, just action, cut, do this, do that. So I wanted to know what makes up a film, what happens before and after. So I later joined the film training course. And during the course, I got inspired into writing and directing. I love working with the camera. I enjoy taking pictures, videos. But right now I'm focusing mostly on directing and writing. A director is a visual, uh, a storyteller. So I get to see what I've written and I transform it into something someone can relate to, something someone can learn from and that's what I love doing most. The two most important skills I got, uh, first was confidence in communicating. I got pushed to my limit. I got out of my cocoon. I could get to express myself and talk freely. I could get to voice out my opinions freely. And after the training also, I got editing skills. I loved editing, but I did not know a thing about it. And a funny thing, I was not to be part of the editing, but I pushed because that's something I really wanted to do and I enjoyed it a lot. That's a skill that I'm grateful for up to date. The training program has actually given me confidence to express myself. In a way, I get to write stories, get stories from my community and place them in a way, in a film way mostly, in a way that people can connect to it, people can see themselves through it and learn through it, and that just uh, gives me joy. My highlight was during one of the screenings at the Prestige Plaza. They were screening our student project, and after the screening of the bill, and uh, we went to interact with people, one guy approached me, I remember his name, Dennis, he approached me and he told me that was my story. You guys told he was in tears and actually I felt broken seeing that our stories touched him that deep. I was like, wow, I can't believe that we made someone cry. Like I made someone feel it. I made someone see himself through the film The Bill. I acted in it and won best actress in it. The story of a young girl in need of money to pay her mother's bills before she gets treatment. And in this, we get to see the dignity, the good side, the bad side. We get to see the system whereby the hospital does not want to give the mother treatment before the bill, before the bill is paid. Your mother was involved in a very bad accident, which usually tends to be fatal. She's a lucky one, though. Uh, she will have to undergo a special operation, which will cost 500000 You can go see her in the emergency ward. And we get to see strangers who see her Christ through social media and they get to give in some, they get to contribute some money for her without knowing her. They don't know her at all, but out of the kindness of their heart, out of the humanity in them, they decide to give something out to this girl. The training gave me a means. It gave me a voice in a way I can express myself to a large number of people, to my community. I can bring about change. If they see what I do and they can relate to it, they get to learn something from it. And if they get to change from it, that will make me the happiest. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Film Aid's work. Right now, I am talking to you from Film Aid offices here in Kakuma Refugee Camp. After I completed my training course, Film Aid hired me. And this is where I've worked. For the past six months, 
Filmed has been sharing life-saving information about COVID-19. Filmed share information through radio, WhatsApp, Facebook, and through an SMS services of over 30,000 households in Kakuma Refugee Camp. Filmed is a trusted source of information. We trust Filmed because Filmed participates in the life of our community. Let's watch a recent public service announcement for children in the camp. To all children in Kalebe, so you have heard this word, coronavirus, a lot. And life is a little bit different to normal. Like maybe you are not in school or visiting friends and family. Let's understand what's happening. What is coronavirus? It causes a disease called COVID-19, and it has made quite a lot of people sick. Getting it can be quite like getting the flu. Corona loves to travel and jump from hand to hand, so always keep your hands clean by washing them regularly with water and soap. Try not to touch your face. Try not to pick your nose, touch your mouth, or rub your eyes. Cover your nose and mouth by using your elbow when you cough or sneeze. Keep social distance. 2 meters when walking. Always wear a mask when going out. Tell a grown-up when you feel sick. For example, when you have a cough, when you feel hot, when you feel difficulty in breathing. And remember, there are lots of people working to look after you and get things back to normal again. These are doctors, parents, teachers, and experts around the world who will talk to us about how to keep safe from coronavirus. We will host visitors from Ministry of Health and FCA. Please tune in to Radio Atana H from Monday to Friday and participate in our discussion. This message is brought to you by FCA and Filmade. I want to share a music video with you. It's by a group of young, talented artists from Kakuma Refugee Camp, who want to offer hope to the entire world with a song they call Believe. Excel Records. It's more than a month Of we miss it all a family yeah. Lockdown of towns everywhere Oga uli oje Kuona jinsi gani tunumia Maelfu ya watu Kwa mola wamesha tangulia It's time we need to stand together as one Keep your hope and faith alive Dunia kunwa kifin Anina kulo sawa ya jama, ya jama get ready for the award session. The film festival is a great period for us at Film Aid Kenya because it's a time that we celebrate the work that you have all done in the refugee camps over the past uh, one year. I wish to congratulate the class of 2019 and 2020. It was a tough year because of COVID-19 but you all overcame those circumstances 
and did a great work. You overcame the needs for online learning, for social distancing, for wearing the masks. Uh, I personally miss seeing your faces. I personally see seeing your smiles and seeing the, the youth that is in you, which is now being uh, covered by the masks, even though it's necessary. Filmmade Kenya is indeed honored to be sitting alongside you, to be working alongside you, to be collaborating with you, to make you the young people that you're destined to be, to make you ready for the world, to make you ready for the future, and to give you a possibility to walk into a future full of hope and inspiration. It's with great honor that I present the first award in student film category. The best award in screenplay goes to Hello, I'm Majin Satrapi. I'm a film director and I'm very happy to present the award of best cinematography. Filmmaking is an art form that requires collaboration and one of the most important contributors is of course the cinematographer. The great cinematographers paint their imagination creating whole worlds using light, shadows and movement. It's not surprising that a young refugee who fled a country disfigured by violence would choose to use his camera to create new words and reclaim what's valuable from the people and places in his life that have disappeared from sight. You create despite the destruction that has shaped so much of your life and you enrich everyone you invite in your imagination. For helping us see the world in a different light and for showing us what a world without violence would look like, it is with pride that I present the award of best cinematography to Gideon Mugaruka Kafunja. Hello, my name is Jan. I'm a filmmaker. I'm not an actor, so bear with me. I don't usually do this sort of thing. But it's, um, I'm really happy to be involved. I love what you guys are doing. And the short film we're about to celebrate next in the category of editing really touched me. It's a story of a young woman on a journey of self-definition, caught between the narrative that's been written for her and a new narrative that she's going to try endeavour to write for herself. A woman that's trying to take agency in her own story and make her own choices. Maybe some of them not so wise. But nevertheless, she wants to make her own decisions. And there's something to celebrate. And it's beautifully pulled off. And it's not easy to do that in a, in a short film. That's why I'm honoured to present the award of best editing to the team of Marisha Ndamboy and O'Henry James for the film Tough Choices. Congratulations to you both on your beautiful film. Keep on making films. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do next. I'm Anushka Shankar and I'm a musician. I refer to myself as tricultural since having grown up across three continents, each of them is a part of who I am, although none of them fully define me. Music is one of the few ways I can express all of who I am. Film has the same expressive power, the power to show our full humanity, even in stories of conflict that divide us from one another. From the old men deciding the fate of a school-aged girl to her own mother who does not feel empowered to resist her husband's decision. Every character in the film we honor today is a whole person, equally capable of creating and destroying through their words, actions, and decisions. Equally capable of embracing the best and worst parts of themselves. For having the courage to put a piece of yourself into every character in your film, and then to share that complex portrait with us, I am thrilled to present Nyang Deng Duot with the award for best director for her film, The Enemy Within. I hope you will continue to tell stories that reveal more of your beautiful humanity. Congratulations.
Habari Zenu, my name is Meera Nair and I am so happy to be here to present the award for the best dramatic short film. There is so much pain and beauty and struggle in refugee life that the world must know. This film is written by and stars Elizabeth Achol Mahkeh, a refugee from South Sudan. Liz lives by the advice of her sister Mary, a teacher and activist fighting for girls' education. Mary tells Liz that the winners of today are the losers from yesterday who decided not to give up. To which I say to Liz and the entire team behind the film, Tough Choices, you are winners today precisely because you refuse to give up on yourselves and on each other. Congratulations. Please continue to make movies, continue to express your point of view and never give up on yourself. No one tells your stories better than you can and the world desperately needs to hear your voices. Thank you, Asanti Sana. I am so happy to give this award to Tough Choices. Hello everyone, my name is Wadl Khatib, I'm a Syrian filmmaker and activist. My film for Sama was my story during five years in Aleppo, Syria. And I'm so happy to be here today to make sure refugees fleeing conflict are seen and heard and to celebrate the amazing young people whose films in this festival. They are so inspiring. And I hope they inspire all of us to think about what we can do to make the world more just and peaceful place for children who have been victims of conflict, for the future of all, our, all of our children. I'm so happy to honor a film about a woman in Kenya who has welcomed refugees into her country. It's my pleasure to present the award for best documentary short to the filmmaking team behind The Pastor Chef. Congratulations to Nainding Dot and her amazing whole team. Thank you so much and please keep going. Thank you. Greetings. It's a pleasure to be with you all today, celebrating filmmakers from many different backgrounds, working together to tell their stories and share their vision for a better future. The brilliant young filmmakers we celebrate today have all had to live through displacement of a huge magnitude, forced displacement from their homes because of violent conflict. So I'm especially honored to present the award for best actress to a young woman who not only portrayed a real woman in her full complexity, but who also wrote the character she portrays in the screenplay she wrote. I present the award for Best Actress for her portrayal of Judea in the film Tough Choices to the talented Elizabeth Akal. Yay! Congratulations, Liz. Keep telling your stories, both as an actor and as a writer. Your talent is a gift, and when you share it through your films, it benefits every single one of us. Congratulations. My name is Elizabeth Achol Maker. I'm a media training student, class of 2020. I participated in the short film, Tough Choices. I was an actress and also the script writer. The journey of production was quite spectacular. It was tough, I learned a lot. And in the process, I also had to put in a lot of hard work, determination and responsibility too, because I had some spots to deal with and work on. So the whole experience was spectacular. Today, I will be honoring not one, but two storytellers with the Best Emerging Filmmaker Award. 
The first filmmaker has said in interviews that she wants to make documentaries that show women with agency taking control in difficult times. Well, to filmmaker Tapiwa Gambura, I want to tell you not only are you telling those kinds of stories with beauty and subtlety, but with each new film, you give the world you are building your own power and agency. Please keep going. I hope to see you one day taking control of your own production company so that we can continue to be blessed by your talent and the unique stories you tell for a long time. For her films, Redefining the Road and Homecoming, I am happy to present Tapiwa Gambura with the award for Best Emerging Filmmaker. The next filmmaker is also helping communities reclaim control of their own narratives. From North Africa, he has been traveling the continent excavating a history that has been disfigured by colonialism and slavery. Like the writers of Watchmen, who put the Tulsa massacre back into the conscience of millions of Americans, your films help us all face the ugly truths of the past so that our future will be guided by the values of belonging, dignity, and justice. For his film, Neguinho, it is my pleasure to present the award for Best Emerging Filmmaker to Salim Harbi. Hi, I'm Keith Murren, the Executive Director of FilmAid. Before I announce the final award winner tonight, I'd first like to say thank you. I'd like to thank our sponsors, our presenting sponsor, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, our leadership sponsor, Robert Arts, our sustaining sponsors, David A., and Karen Richards Sachs. And I'd like to thank all of you for the support you've given us during the festival and throughout the year. I'd also like to thank Stella Suge and the entire team at FilmAid Kenya. But I'd particularly like to thank the film and journalism trainers in Dadaab and Kakuma refugee camps. Thank you, Mercy Mwanzia, Isaac Owumo, Eric Ochieng, and Dennis Munene. The work you do with these young people throughout the year is incredible. Finally, I'd like to thank our jury, filmmaker Liz W. Garcia, cartoonist Victor Ndula, photographer and activist Polly Arungu, and polymath creator Anthony Viziale. Thank you for helping celebrate the amazing talent at the Filmmade Film Festival in 2020. The final award today is dedicated to Lorenzo Soria the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association who passed away this year. Lorenzo was a kind-hearted champion of refugee families around the world. It is our sincere hope at FilmAid that his own family will find solace in the legacy that he leaves behind and the good works that he accomplished during his lifetime. May you rest in peace, Lorenzo. Filmmaking is a collaborative art form and our final award, the award for best emerging talent, celebrates the art of collaboration. When artists reach out to one another across borders, across cultures, across gender divides and religious differences, we make better art and we make a bigger impact. For their work and collaboration with diverse artists from across Africa and around the world, the award for best emerging talent goes to Abdul Patient and the entire team at Exile Key Films, including the musical artists, Emle Aza, Queen Lisa, and mercy are caught. In your music, in your movies, and in your own lives, you fight for girls, you fight for refugees, you fight for the forgotten, and you fight for each other. May you always keep up that fight, and may you continue to find courage and strength in working together. Congratulations to the entire team at Exile Key Films. And now, we're gonna rejoin Amina, who has a little surprise for all of you. Congratulations to all winners. You have given us your vision of a future where all people can live lives free from violence, bigotry, inequality, and oppression. I am so proud of you. I hope you will continue making films that can change people's lives. 
Thank you so very much to all the people and organization who supported this film festival. Thank you again to everyone who tuned in. We cannot do this without you. We are going to end this show with a special celebration. Feel free to turn up your volume, get out of your chair and dance. Thank you again. Good evening, good night, good morning and good luck. Let's go. 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 Let's go.